Sup everybody, this is Carrick with ACG and this is about the fourth time I've tried this, which is weird because this is a video about sound. What is it gonna be? Well, it's gonna be some examples of various different environments when it comes to environmental sound and ambient sound that I absolutely enjoy in games. Now, you might be wondering why I'm gonna do a video like this and I'm not gonna talk here as this plays. I'll meet you at the other end of it. But what I wanna do is have you guys listen. There's some really good examples of excellent layering and mixing of 3D sound work as well as occlusion and distance. I want you guys to listen to this. We'll meet at the other end and we'll discuss the various different elements to sound, some of the things that I noticed in just some of these samples. Now, one thing to remember is it doesn't mean that these games are without their imperfections in some other areas. I'm just going to pinpoint some of the places that I really like and some of the things that I really enjoyed when I was playing these titles. And then we'll circle back around and get some ideas from you guys. Let's begin. Freak. Kings do the fighting, but peasants do the dying. Sweet well, we sent us all south of Yoruba. Bringing hill guardians to farm our land. Oh, I heard about that. What did you say? Who taught you that? Uh, Chitty. Now listen careful. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. But Chetty's my best mate. Chetty's a little fool who had us all killed. I see you with him again and you'll regret it.
Woman, is this the road to Vizim? To your cohaven, you like. Have you not heard about the griffin? First the black one, he's now a griffin. I guess it's true, misery does love company. As should travellers. Leave the village alone and the beast will sniff you out and eat you up sure as morn. You best wait till the dawn again. At the inn, the gold. If not,
So those are just some examples of mine and different audio environments that I actually like. One of the things as we go back and look at some of this footage that I really like, especially in Mad Max, is you can actually not only hear as he's running that crunch underneath his feet, you can hear that distance, a very well done distance for the vehicles. But when he moves around, you can actually hear. And as he gets more items, hear the different items on his armor actually changing the sound, which I thought was very cool. We did have the sound designer. He came on one of the podcasts and talked about some of the various work they did there. Very well done. Also, it changes some of the audio effects depending on the texture of the sand and where you are. Now, that's not necessarily incredibly unique because a lot of times you'll get a game, for example, Witcher, which you also see where the sound may change if you go from normal ground and dirt to ice. But I did like the variation there. I did like the thought process of what they did. Now, he jumps into the vehicle here, and one of the things I really did like is when you're riding around, you can actually hear Chum Bucket behind you. Very good audio effects here for the vehicle as well. There wasn't as big of a switch as I would have liked when you got in the vehicle as well as when you had the third-person view. It is interesting to me that a lot of people I talk to are not aware that there's a third-person and first-person view in here. They were only aware of the third-person view. Now, that might actually be because when you drive some of these cars, there's big blowers in the way and it's very hard to see, but it is still very cool to be able to jump in here. And they have a nice blur effect that you can see and some fairly good audio, even though it can be a bit surprising that first time you shoot that shotgun and it is so loud, but that's the way it would actually sound inside of a vehicle. And a lot of people don't really realize that. They don't really think about that, but that shotgun sound is punctuated by being tonally within that vehicle. And I really did like the step up there. Also, again, here, when you're driving around, you can hear those different sound effects. This is just all very well done, especially because what you have is a situation where most of the time you don't have trees. You don't have a lot of hills that are occluding the sound. You don't have a lot of different variation there. But what you get is a nice dampening effect, actually, of some of that sound hitting the sand, which I thought was cool. Very good effects in this game overall. There was definitely some issues here and there, and I brought those up in the review. But I did like a lot of the different processing that we actually see and hear Additionally, and unfortunately, because there isn't a number of locations within this game, as in subterranean areas mixed with forests, mixed with on the ocean, mixed with the desert, that kind of thing, we don't get to hear as much variation as we would like. Speaking of variation, one of the better sound effect driven titles in the world is Witcher 3. Now, I know that there may be issues with the title. We all love it, but there's a problem here or there. People don't like the animation or they don't like some particular thing. Also, if you noticed a couple frame drops here and there, I apologize. That's just shadow play. Anyway, what you have here is an incredibly well mixed and varied input when it comes to the sounds. If you guys get a chance, go check my Walking the Walk. Those are videos where I basically just walk across an open world and discuss how reflective it is and what they do to make you feel like you lived in it. Here, it is very well done, though there are a couple issues that absolutely surprised me. For example, there are moments in this game in particular where you will hear a voice 40, 50, 60, 80 feet away behind you and below you on a hill. It's a very odd situation. But overall, you still get really good 3D audio effects throughout this. And especially when you're walking in any of the villages or any of the towns, there's a really well done mixing that occurs within the title and allows for discrete layers for you to still hear everything, including, for example, this child and them going through that little nursery rhyme and the father, but at the same time still hearing that hammer of the blacksmith just pinging away very, very quietly in the distance as we walk towards it. That sort of growing and coming down the road in front of you 
to you versus all the way on your left until we pass this little grove of trees and now the sound can pass through. It was very well done when it comes to its 3D sound, surround, all of that kind of stuff as long as you had the settings in the right area. And again, this game does actually have one or two issues that I know a lot of us had dinged it for, but overall it's still incredibly varied and just walking across the grasslands, everything can feel so alive. And I think you understand why we're doing this next video. It is Journey to the Savage Planet, and that's the reason why we're here right now. It really has an incredibly varied soundscape. One of the better soundscapes for a game. In fact, as I talked about in the review, this is one of the few games where you will get out into an area, whether it be forested or even the snowy area, and there are so many different sound effects and so many things going on that it can actually cause a little bit of a tangible hesitation on the gamer's part, where you're sort of trying to figure out exactly where everything's coming from. What this does is mets out a very cool feeling of being in an alien world, and it certainly is one, and I think with fantasy games, the same thing can be applied. Within Savage Planet, I would say it's just more noticeable than a lot of other games and you get some excellent tonal effects and reverb and echo in some of these locations i think this is really a title that a lot of people need to check out also spectacular work when it comes to the alien sound effects because what they do is they sound just suitable enough and there's enough mixture in there like the groaning of a giant stomach or something where you're like i think what that is but then it's mixed with like these chickens and their freakish screaming this is really high-end work and i think that unfortunately this title may be overlooked when we look at 2020 but i think when it comes to soundscapes it absolutely shouldn't lastly bioshock you may be shocked some people actually didn't really like the audio in this game and there are a couple issues here and there but what i want to talk about is the opening in particular what the opening does is it front loads the title when it comes to sound it's almost a good way of fooling you. There's so much going on and so many varied sound samples going on. Everything from this door breaking on the left to the glass cracking and breaking under the pressure around you. And what this does, especially when you met it out with various different other sound effects like the little bits of water on the tile and things like that. And then you add in that reverb from being inside of these rooms. What you get is a soundscape that builds within the fiction itself and builds on that fiction. All of these games, I think, are good examples of that. But I think Bioshock does such a spectacular example at the very starting. It really mires you in it. Other than being on that airplane and landing in the water, you're already right in the get-go of it all. Everything is happening. You're hearing all those different sound effects. And it's really setting a tone that continues throughout the game going into the future. I wish there were some more settings here. And there is a couple little issues I noticed with the mix. But overall, I really did like this. What I'd like to know from you guys, though, is what games out there do you just like the environmental audio? What titles out there cause you to really sit back and go, the environmental audio here is great. It's not just the wind, right? It's not just the wind blowing through the trees. It's how it does it. It's can you hear a sound cascade down from the side of a hill? How is that done? Does it include like the Gears games, which I know a lot of people maybe don't think the Gears games are that cool. Of course, they're AAA titles overall, but I know a lot of people think they're sort of brain dead. But get a chance, go check out the GDC videos when it comes to audio and the Gears games, and you will be incredibly impressed with that title. In fact, I was actually going to add that, but I figured some of you guys would probably bring that up. So I wanted to go a little bit a little bit new and a little bit old, throw some Mad Max in there because I know a lot of people probably weren't expecting that one. Anyway, that's it from me. Again, I would love to know what you guys think. We're going to be talking more about these in the next coming weeks. Uh, as you guys know, we cover them 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch. We always do the podcast. We cover audio and games. We like to jump in. We're going to be talking about Savage Planet. I would love for you guys to join up if you get a chance. And, of course, you can become a patron. It really does help. And I want to say thanks to the patrons who informed me. Today's video was already demonetized. So I got that fixed within just... Oh, my dog agrees. I got that fixed within just a couple hours or so. So thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to have to go because my dog is absolutely losing his mind. Speaking of sounds, listen. There we go. That's Ming. He says hello. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your week.